Hello guys, I hope you are fine and doing well. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, after a long time, I am back uh, for making videos and uh, to help you guys. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how you can make up, make backup of your website and you can restore it. Uh, like let's say uh, you are working on a on website like designing or changes and uh, uh, you are not sure if it will work or not and uh, that can also generate an error on the site uh, the best way is to make the backup of the website before you start that work and if you found any uh, mistake or any problem during your working then you can just go back and restore your site let me show you how it will work first of all you will need to log into your wordpress website i am logging to my wordpress website and um, uh, here you will need to type a draft there are a plenty of uh, other um, uh, what we can say is that uh, plugins available for backup and restore the updraft is very easy to use that's why i do prefer to use that for you guys because maybe some of you will uh, uh, will be new and some of have experience with wordpress and all these things but this step would be very easy for you guys you just need to install plugin and activate click on activate and once the plugin is activated then you need to go to the plugin setting go to the plugin page okay let me introduce you some settings here you will be able to make uh, for making backup okay we already have uh, a backup here of, on this website okay perfect that's good okay to start backup of the website you just need to click on backup now you can include your files in the backup ds definitely include database as well definitely and you can also click that if you want to if you want no uh, automatically the uh, the backup should not be removed then just uh, select that option as well and then click on backup now this will start the process while this process is in progress i will let you know some other features of this plugin uh, if you will click on migrate and clone this will help you out uh, this is a, actually a premium feature uh, this is not free so yeah they are saying then try out a migrator and add-on because a migrator add-on they are that is a paid uh, add-on okay then skip that actually this feature is used you can uh, copy your website uh, to another uh, uh, domain i mean other other wordpress, WordPress installation uh, that is very easy uh, this feature is not available in free version so i will not uh, uh, tell you mostly about that okay the other thing is that uh, one good thing is that you can set automatic back backups of the website like uh, like i am going to uh, set it files backup every 15 after every 14 days and database backup that is also every 14 days i will set that up and here i will make the settings it will contain last 10 backups if we make it 50 then it will save last 50 backups like let's say after every 14 days it, it will make backup and uh, for up to 50 backups it will keep in the database once there will be, will be 51 uh, that uh, backup then it will delete the first one the backup has finished okay the backup has uh, finished and it is ready okay uh, i hope you understand about this one and same is the for the database it will keep the 10 database and the 11th one uh, when uh, it will make a 11th backup database then it will delete the first one this is how it works okay the other thing is that you can also store the backup of your uh, website on a local drive like you need if you want to buy the wallet uh, updraft wallet you can use that definitely if you want to store uh, store it on an ftp uh, like ho cpanel uh, storage you can also use that if you want to store it on drawbacks you can connect that you can need to click on that and then it will ask you some uh, information and uh, you will be able to set that and you can uh, mostly i do use a google drive because that's very easy uh, to use that i just click on sign in with google and there are some uh, basic steps uh, that i do and then the data will also be stored on the uh, 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 uh drive and once you are done then click on save changes and uh skip okay save changes and once you are there here let's go back uh, let's go back to the backup store 
here okay here is the backup that i have made december 1922 and uh, today date is uh, again yeah, to it, it's this is the backup i have made once you are make the make uh, backup uh, then it will be here and you can start working with the website if you found some mistake or you do some uh, mistake that is not uh, back uh, i mean from which you cannot revert back what you need to do is that you just need to click on restore and you need to click plugins themes upload up uh, other database and click on next and it will start up, uh, uploading the data here you can see next and it will start uh, restoring but i do not restore because i do not need that this video is just for your help uh, if you have any okay one more thing you can also if you are going to uh, install a new plugin or are going to make changes in the directory files or in theme files or in wordpress files what you can do is that you can download this backup on your local pc local server i mean local pc in your laptop or in your pc using that let's say if your website crashes or it shows a fatal error or shows any error uh, when you have this ba backup uh, in your PC then you can just reinstall the WordPress on your domain and then you can install the plugin updraft and then upload just upload this backup here is the upload backup files you can see that you will click here and it will ask you to upload backup uh, files and you can select it from the uh, your PC and let me show you how you can also download these files you, you need to click on database plugin themes upload and others one by one on every file and then it will sh start showing your option download to your computer download to your computer download to your computer and when you will click on that it will automatically down it will be downloaded to your computer you can see that it's simple easy and when you, and when you want to restore your website you can definitely you can just upload it on uh, back on your website uh, i mean uh, install a new version of the wordpress fresh install upload uh, extra install and activate the updraft plugin and then you can upload the uh, files that's pretty easy thank you i hope this video will be helpful for you if there is any question that you wanted to ask uh, you can write in the comment or you can reach out to me from my about information thank you i hope this video will be helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel as well thank you